slightly different version of Smoke Sport HD, which we've decided to call Smoke 101. We're live from Marlebone. Unfortunately, all of the games that were scheduled for today have been cancelled, but here are Morgan and Simon sporting their stunning Movember stashes to explain the situation. Over to you, boys. Hi, uh, I'm Morgan Rees. Uh, we've uh, Richard Zick. It's been a very wet day, as you can see, with just a bit of the shower. It's been a nice cold, yeah. but a nice warm shower. But the game's are all cancelled today, but we thought there's no point in missing out on a bit of shower time with the mats. <laughs> But don't worry, we've prepared a great show for you guys, packed with important information of what's happening in Westminster, some juicy details about the Dragons, social media madness, and so much more. But kicking things off, you might have seen a special segment that we do here on Smoke TV called Teammates. And since we're changing things up, we thought we'd bring you an extra special episode. This is Teammates Live. We're joined here in the studio with Jayesh from the Men's Football First team. Hello, welcome. How are you, Ellie? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? Not bad. Good. So you're, um, are you playing currently on the Men's Football First team? Um, I am, yeah. I'm on and off, but I am competing uh, now on the week. Very exciting. And on, on a sideline, you also have another very important job. Is that right? Yeah, Tell yes, us about I that. do. Um, I'm the VP of Marlebond as well, so whenever I find time, uh, on a Wednesday when I'm not doing things. <laughs> Brilliant. All goes to sport. Go Marlebone. Okay, so in terms of uh, teammates then, I have to ask for the men's football, how's the season going so far for you? Um, unfortunately, the season's not going so well, um, but we are showing signs of improvement, so uh, hopefully we'll come out um, in the end strong. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a best moment so far from this year, or maybe from a previous year? Um, probably not this year, but uh, from the previous year, I'd probably say winning, winning the league, uh, doing the double, but probably winning nice. the league there last season. Nice one. Um, and who from the team has the best celebration? I know you said that maybe from the previous year. Who, who is the one that goes crazy on the teams? Or maybe on a night out even? Um, I think everyone will probably say the same person uh, and it will have to be Barody. Um, <laughs> he is the first team captain this year. Uh, but yeah, he's always the first one out on any night out and on the pitch as well. He's probably the craziest. Brilliant. Yeah. Man after my own heart. And, uh, and not to dwell on it, but do you have a worst moment at all uh, from either this season or last season? Um, the worst moment is probably always losing, but uh, getting knocked out in the cup is always probably the worst thing. Um, after that, you've only got the lead to play for. Okay. Well, still got hope for you. Yeah. Hope for you, yeah. Very good. Um, and so tell me about the players then. Who is there an emotional player on the team? Who would you say is the most emotional person on the team? Uh, we have quite a few, really. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, Probably last season, I'd probably say Sharif was um, Sharif. Our, our most emotional player. Uh, but it never used to come down to emotional on the pitch. It was always he was, he was going to take the kit bag home at the end of the day. That was probably why he was the most Brilliant. emotional. And Sharif was always lumped with the job. Yeah, yeah exactly. He was Brilliant. always the job. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, and talking in terms of fashion sense, we have a segment here on this show called Fashtag. Who, uh, who has the best fashion sense? Who's the most stylish on the team? Um, I'm not going to lie, there isn't anyone really that right. stylish, but... I mean, you could have uh, said yourself, but I mean, uh, there you go. You've I would missed, go with myself, but then I'd be lying, but... <laughs> At least um, you're honest. Yeah, exactly, I don't... I don't mm. Brilliant. Do you have a worst... Is there a worst dress? Am I allowed to ask, Matt? W worst dress? Probably... I probably have to nominate Barody again for that one, but... <laughs> Brilliant. It's always the same red New York hoodie and brown trousers everywhere he goes, so... For that one. Nice. Well, I'm liking the dragons, the dragons outfit. It's very good sporting it. Um, and I have to ask you, we have another segment on the show coming up later, which you might have heard of, uh, called the hundred pound idea. Do you have a hundred pound idea at all? Anything that we can grab off you last minute? Um, well, my hundred pound idea um, would be to um, build a day nursery in Marlebone, really, because um, I know there's a lot of full-time parents on campus. So that would be my hundred pound idea if I was to ever put one forward. Brilliant, nice one. Jayesh, thank you so much for joining us. No and you're going to be sticking around because that's the end of Teammates, but we are going now to uh, a segment which we have devised uh, about the world of the internet. Everybody's on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube these days, and we're going to be looking at the viral videos of the week. So,
So going by popular trends on the internet at the moment and uh, on Facebook and things like that, as well as on YouTube, we're going to be looking at uh, some viral videos of the week. We've picked just three for you. I have to say my first one, which is on the screen here. Uh, the video is called Telekinetic Coffee Shop Surprise. Have you seen this one, Jay? I have actually seen this one. You've yeah. seen this. It is brilliant. If you haven't yeah. seen it, woman, crazy powers, guy spills coffee, uh, and then stuff goes down. I nearly said a very different word then. Stuff goes down. It's brilliant. Um, it turns out that this video is actually a film promo for a horror movie called Carrie, which is, I don't know if that's a bit of a sellout. I still quite like the video. It's got 49 million views on YouTube. What do you think about the video? I think it's great. I, I didn't actually know that until the end that it was a, a promo for a video, but I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, and it got quite a few, few people shut up, as you can see in the video. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, how do you think you would, just looking at some of these people, how would you respond if this was you? Um, I think you see one person in the video, they was the first person to get a phone out, so I think that's probably what I'd do first. And not what I'd Typical do. person <laughs> of the internet. I literally, I don't know what I would do if I was stood there. I would, prob I would be in such shock, I don't know what I would do. That's brilliant. So there you go, Telekinetic Coffee Shop Surprise. Our second video that we're going to is one that um, a lot of you might have seen. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It's uh, the popular music video. What does the fox say? Um, not sure how I feel about this one. Have you seen What Does the Fox Say? This I is just this is an advert, so don't um, worry about this. Yeah. We'll, we'll go on without that. Um, no, I've not actually seen the um, video. You've not no, seen it. it. Uh, I don't know if I would advise you seeing it, <laughs> but uh, maybe check it out, see what the hype is about. Um, this one uh, made by a kind of group, I guess, called uh, Why Bears. I think I'm saying that right. I'm probably saying that wrong. Something like Elvis, but not quite Elvis. Um, the, the video, I'm shocked, it's a music video, it has 234 million views and rising on YouTube. Uh, it was made by two Norwegian brothers who made the band, and uh, the 234 million views, that's four times the population of Norway, where they're originally from. So that really, this video has blown up. Uh, and we never, do we ever find out what the fox says? Is that even a, a thing? So it's something you might have to check out. It's, um, I guess it's like this year's Gangnam Style. Were you a Gangnam Style fan? Um, I did actually get into it. I hated it at first, but then yeah. the amount of times I've seen it, I had to like it. It's one of those things. I think this one, they've been playing it on the radio. It's slowly <laughs> growing on me, I have to say. It's annoying, but it is growing on me. Looks interesting. Brilliant. And so moving on then to our final video, our third video uh, from Viral Videos of the Week. This one is called Interpretive Dance for My Boss. Um, slightly controversial video made by... Uh, a girl called uh, Marina, who, uh, her job, and I can't believe this, her job is to make viral videos. That is a job in the 21st century. That's what she's employed to do. Uh, so she's gone and done it. She doesn't like her job. It's too, she says it's too focused on views and stuff like that. So she wanted to quit. So at 4.30 in the morning, she decided to take her heart, to take to her office and just make a video in which she quit her job. Is this a good idea, quitting your job on the internet to your boss? I think, I think there's ways in doing that. Um, just probably have to cut the ball off, really. I'm not going to lie. I um, think this is probably one of the most creative videos. <laughs> yeah, For somebody exactly. who you can tell that her job is to make viral videos, but, uh, but literally just quits her job on the video. Um, this one has 16 million views, and I'm pretty sure it's going to go up. Um, she also, very cheekily, at the bottom of the description on the video, says, uh, want to make a deal with me or give me a job and then hit me up and then she's put her website link on it. Do you think, is that a good idea? Is she ever actually going to get a job now that she's embarrassed well, her company and her boss like this? I think she's, she's shown her creativity um, for sure as you can see. Yeah, I mean you can see <laughs> that she's, she's um, focusing on creative content. Um, so I think she'll struggle at first but then yeah, people will kind of get over that way. Brilliant. Okay. Well there you go. That is our final viral video for this week. Uh, and so next up, you might have seen these posters all around the university uh, and don't know what it's about, want to find out more? Well, we've got just the segment for you. We have Kasim out on the street with us. Kasim, are you there? Where, where are you? Down in Marlebone. Hi, Khaled, your student union president has rolled out a new competition where you guys submit your ideas on how to improve the university and the best one was £100. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Let's see what some people thought up over here, okay? Hi, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Um, if you could improve the university in any way, weird or wacky, what would you, what would you change? Uh, I'm so sorry because I, I have no idea so far. 
because I have just thought about um, two moms who are starting here. Anything like, like you know, slides or like food, like do you want better food in the uni or anything? Um, I think the food here is quite good and, uh, oh, oh, and all the facilities, mm, I, 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 mean, I mean, nothing to complain about. Really? Nothing? It could be anything like, you know, like escalators to your lectures or, and literally nothing? Uh, indeed, um, indeed, um, honestly, I, I didn't find anything, I, I didn't find any trouble or problem about the school, honestly. Okay, well, thank you very much, okay? Let's, let's see what the next person uh, thought of, okay? Hmm, Hi, can I ask you a question? If you could improve the uni in any way, how would you change it? Do you mean? Way to wacky, anything. You mean like this university or like the campus as well or like the residence hall? Anything. Um, have Wi-Fi in the residence hall? You guys don't have Wi-Fi? No. Seriously, I like... Have to walk down here at like 12 in the morning if I want Wi-Fi. So if you're on a Facebook like say your mom, you'd have to come down here? Uh, no, they have Ethernet up there, but if I want to get on my phone, because most study abroad students don't have um, an internet plan, I have to come down here for Wi-Fi. Oh man, that sucks. Man, I hope they change that like just for like the sake of you being able to do that rather than... Asking to have a change it. It's, bad. it's really bad. Oh, Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can find someone else again. Hmm. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? I want to ask you a question. I have no idea where it is. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me find someone else. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Hi, guys. Can I ask you a question? Ah, oh, come on. I was never, people saying that. One sec. Wrap it up. Okay. Okay, um, well, no real ideas here, so back to you, Alex. <laughs> Not having much luck there. Um, brilliant. Thank you, Cassim. We'll be catching up with you a little bit later on. There you go. And if you have, if you have an idea, what's, what's your £100 idea? We'll get involved. Uh, in a slight change of pace, I'm now joined in the studio by a very good friend of mine. Hello, Jenny Chan. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Very well, thank you. So we're going to be talking all about the Make a Difference campaign. So tell me, what, what's the campaign all about? Um, it's a fundraiser that was actually started by the captain of the basketball team, Clive Castillo. Um, it's for the typhoon that hit the Philippines over a week ago, and uh, they're raising money on behalf of the Red Cross. Not only that, they're taking any relief goods like old clothes, blankets, tin food, and that's being flown over, um, completely paid for by LBC. Brilliant. So, um, and, and tell us, where are you hitting? Where, like, where can people find you? Uh, every single campus, every single day. Um, are you hit, so are you hitting a different campus on different days? No, or? simultaneously. So every single campus? Every campus, every, every day. day. Wow. Um, 10 till 4. Uh, you can see tables out in all main reception, foyer, um, down at Harrow as well, and at Cavendish, where the main reception is. That's brilliant. And, and how can people help? Like, how can people get involved with this? Um, is it just money donations? Or? No, not just cash donations. Also the relief goods, like I said before, but even better, donate your time. Uh, that's the thing that I think we need. You know, manpower makes a huge difference. Yeah. Um, today we had Oriental Society. They, they came and they helped out as well. Um, they made a bakes out and the, the, bake, like the baking society actually made the cakes as well. At Oriental Society, there was Piers Tang, Kambu, um, Nancy, Marlon. You know, they, the whole committee came down um, and they helped fundraise as well. And actually, I think one of their committee members uh, said how much you raise, her, her company is willing to match that as well. Really? Yeah, so That's whatever incredible. is raised, she'll match it. That's so brilliant. And I hear uh, some of the SSAs have been getting involved as well. SSAs have been fantastic. Awesome. Um, and ISOC as well. ISOC have chipped in. Um, SSAs, the Dragons have got involved. Um, it's been pretty much... I think, you know, a massive joint, you know, um, effort by absolutely everyone. I mean, it's so nice to see everyone kind of coming together for this cause. Like, yeah. It's heartwarming, isn't it? Is it is heartwarming. Brilliant. It is really heartwarming. And so tell me about Clive then um, and his kind of involvement. I hear there have been rumours going around <laughs> um, of something big happening. Clive is really taking this on. Is this, is this a rumour? Is this... No, it's just a free holiday. So I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, what's actually happened? So uh, all the money that gets donated to the Red Cross... So I'm pretty sure some of the relief goods, not the tinned foods, but like a lot of the relief goods, he will be flying over there himself as well, alongside. Um, and then the cheque, he will hand directly to the Red Cross because I don't, there's not an exact charity that goes straight okay. from 
uh, Red Cross in, in UK, so he's flying it directly over to them. So literally going to the Philippines, handing it over, that is just incredible. So just give me a reminder then, where can people find you and where can they find you? Every single campus, 10 till 4, um, at the main reception of every single campus, any goods, relief goods, tinned food, uh, old clothes that you may have, and it goes to a great cause, not just cash donation. And if you can donate your time, even just one hour to help us bucket, it would be absolutely amazing. That's brilliant. Well, good luck with the rest of the thank campaign. You. Jenny Chan, you're going to stick around for us for a little bit, is that right? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Well, there we go. In a slight change uh, of pace now, we're going to lighten the mood slightly more with a uh, new sem segment that we have. This, I've been struggling to say it, this is called Fash Tag. So, don't mind us, just having a bit of a dance. Uh, University of Westminster is known, and with fashion courses, it is known for its style and its grace and elegance. But how about the students that actually come to the university? We know Harrow, notoriously a very fashionable campus, but we're coming here from the studio in Marlebone. Are people fashionable? We've got Kasim out in the foyer. Uh, oh, again, so Kasim, are you there? So, uh, where did you guys shop? Hi, in Italy. <laughs> I bought this jacket from Rome and even these trousers and boots. <laughs> uh, that's pretty nice. Thank you, because I went recently in holiday and I've been doing some shopping, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> pretty nice. How about you, Ariana? Uh, I mainly shop like in Oxford Street here, but the trouser, the outfit that I've got now is from stuff that I bought in Italy, so it's like uh, <laughs> all Milan fashion, let's say. <laughs> That's pretty nice, guys. So, like, where do you guys like? Who do you compare yourself to? Like, in terms of like fashion, like, who do you want to dress like? Um, I don't have a proper um, person who. I would like to dress up. Oh, I just, I just like um, I have a very casual style. So um, I just get some. Uh, I don't know how to say. <laughs> get I just get some ideas around about different outfits and uh, different styles. But I'm not full of like a proper style. Okay. Okay. What about you? Kind of the same, I don't have like a proper, <laughs> let's say, someone that I follow, but I like to see how it's new, like uh, coming out uh, and it's on fashion, let's say, so <laughs> I try to follow, but <laughs> then it doesn't work because of money and <laughs> general problem, but I try my best. All right, so what's your favorite thing in your wardrobe? My favorite thing is handbags and uh, boots. <laughs> yeah. what, what handbag? Uh, Vivian Wist boot. And yes, <laughs> no, don't tell me. <laughs> I got one <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> but I've been saving money for like seven, eight years. <laughs> How about you, Ariana? Uh, I like shoes a lot. And uh, I would like to buy very soon like Timberland. But the same as me, I'm trying to save. <laughs> to buy them because it's like impossible to afford it. But. Okay, well, thanks very much, guys. Uh, so, Alex, back to you. Seems like we have some, uh, you know, fashionable people here. <laughs> thanks. To know, fashionable people. It's not all just Harrow. Marlebone's pretty fashionable. Well, maybe in one of the next weeks we'll be coming to another campus. So get ready, Westminster. Brilliant. And now uh, we're moving very swiftly on from fashion. I thought it was quite good. I'm liking your, your rock in the... Uh, then make a different make a different campaign t-shirt for us. I've gone for a wintry jumper just to say it's so I'm rocking it. Uh, we're going on as I said now to uh, a segment which we like to call Smoke 101. <laughs> dancing all of these I'm sorry I'm just I'm, I'm terrible for it so uh, we're talking about uh, smoke 101 which if you don't know this is our new concept if you could get rid of like one thing from the world if you could just banish it if you were the king or queen or the prime minister and you could just get rid of one thing mm, what would it be Jenny Chan go choices choices mm. it's hard isn't it you it is hard it's actually, it's actually really hard because it could be a list of people. <laughs> <laughs> which not, not naming any it, names. It's not. Not okay. any, like, but I think, I, I think sweat glands and BO. Okay, BO is a good one. BO, public transport, you know, being smaller than everyone and they're holding onto oh. them and you're underneath them. London the is, is awful for it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, 
And littering. Definitely littering. littering. I would agree with that one. That's a good that's uh, uh, for a good cause. Very you're littering. so on brand, it's brilliant. I'm trying if, to make a difference. It's it's brilliant. If I could get rid of one thing, is it controversial to say <laughs> handshakes? <laughs> Is that bad? Don't I just think, I don't know. I mean, touch I just, me, touch me. I, I mean, you're my friend. It's very different. <laughs> but like when you go to somebody and you've never met them before and it's handshake or like high five, high fives, I just find weird and they're very awkward things. Do you not? I think, I don't well, know. Japan, they bow. Yeah, bowing's very good or just the nodding. I don't even mind a little bro hug now and again. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Tapping someone's back or hitting their shoulder. That's fine. But it's just the handshake. I don't know. And That's what I do. And a hug is brilliant. I like a hug. More of a handshake. Keep that in mind. Um, but we also have Kasim, who's back out on the street. Have you found anybody? Okay. All right, let's find some stuff to put on. Smoke one on one, guys. Let me find some people. Hi, 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 hi. Let me ask you a question. Hi. Um, if you could change anything in the world, what's the most annoying thing to you in the world? And would Sorry? you change it? The most annoying thing to you in the world? The most annoying thing to me in the world? Um, I, I, I can't really think of anything. What would you want to remove from the world? That's like really like annoying, like bores your brains out. Mitt Romney. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't hate Mitt Romney? I don't hate him, but I think he could do a lot better as a politician. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I'll find someone else. Thank you. <laughs> Let me ask the football team, actually. Let's see what they got. <laughs> guys, can I ask you guys a question? Uh, not now. Not now. <laughs> I've got these two here. Don't worry. Hi, guys. Can I ask you guys a question? Just one question. What's the most annoying thing to you guys in the world, and would you change it? Um, nothing, really. yeah. nothing? Most annoying. No one annoys you. Nothing annoys you. Really? No, nothing. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, guys. I'll find someone else. Hmm. Ow. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Hi, can I ask you a question? It's quick. It's just one question. Ah, okay. I right, can I ask you a question. Why does no one want to answer questions? Hello. Just one question. It's just about something annoying. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. It's not like wait. There's someone coming in. Hi. Right, can I ask you a question? What's the most annoying thing to you? Would you get rid of it? Sorry. The most annoying thing in the world to you, and would you get rid of it? Oof. Um, like someone, something, a thing. Yeah. God, I can't really think of anything. So you don't want to get rid of anything right now, like maybe this uni, or maybe like the buses, or Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. Um, God. I'm pretty undecisive. You're asking the wrong... Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> guys, can I ask you one question? Just one question. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just leave it. Seems like I can't find anyone who wants to get rid of anything, really. If it was up to me, I'd probably get rid of McDonald's. I go there too often, so it would do me some good. But back to you, Alex. <laughs> I don't know if that went well. Uh, we thought of another one. I thought of smoking. What about smoke? Is that not a common thing? Would you want to get rid of smoking? Smoke TV, you know. That is a very different kind of smoking. Do you know actually where the name smoke, smoke came from? I, that... I actually don't. I know it's before I started, but I... No, no. It was before I started. Word on the street. I learned this before. Uh, smoke TV comes from the idea of that we're in London and it's the big smoke. So oh, then smoke that. media came and then radio and TV. There you go. But aside like from that, smoking, I mean, especially being in London, although you can't do it inside, it's like public places. It's just not a good thing, is it? Jenny Chan, thank you so much for joining me and, uh, and keep supporting and making a difference. It's brilliant. I think what you're doing is brilliant. Thank you so much. Also, um, when I was fundraising, we get loads of students that said, sorry, I haven't got any, I've got no change, but I've got my card. This is the time <laughs> to make a difference. Um, we do take online donations as well. Okay. Um, www.projectfresh forward slash makeadifference.com. So, you know, and everything, it all goes back to the same cause. And it would be so great to have some donations online as well. Brilliant. Okay. Well, we'll be putting the links to all of the donation things on our social media so you can follow that and, and people can find it there. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us, Jenny. Thank you Brilliant. For me. All right. Well, we're now going to move on to our final segment of the show. I like to call this What's On Westminster? Starting tomorrow up until the end of the semester, the university is going to be having a uh, tester session in, in order to form an official handball Dragons team in January. So if you're interested, get involved. Next up, 
SSA Regent and LTS are hosting an open mic night this Friday the 22nd at the Deep End. So make sure that you're there for a great night of laughter and music. It's going to be amazing. Uh, next up, the UWSU Women's Basketball will be hosting the first of many Christmas parties at the Undercroft on the Harrow campus on the 27th of November. So get down. I'll be there. Come, come down. What better way to de-stress from all of the deadlines than to head over to Cavendish campus for a Despicable Me marathon. I'm so excited. SSA Cavendish, we've got this on for you. It's on the 28th of November. Make sure you're there. I just love Despicable Me. It's brilliant. But not as good, if I can say, as Smoke TV, who are bringing you a full night of Friends episodes for your enjoyment. Come down to the Cavendish campus on the 27th of November and relive some of the best moments from the show. I'm so excited. It's a Friends marathon. It's going to be brilliant. Once again, uh, Market Day, on another note, is going to be held at the Forum in the Harrow Campus on the 29th of November from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Market Day's had a lot of success. Good, good luck to them. Uh, and for more information on these and all of the other events, don't forget that you can check out the Student Union website, which I believe is uwsu.com. So that's it from us here in Marlebone. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget that you can follow us on Twitter and keep up with our social media uh, and everything that we've talked about on the show. We are at Women Smoke TV and forward slash Westminster Smoke TV. My name has been Alex Brennan and this has been Smoke 101. Thank you very much and goodbye.